I swear, I don't even notice what type of car he's driving. <laughs> really? You didn't notice? Okay, then I didn't notice your amazing boobs or your banging booty. What's up, gentlemen? So today I'm gonna go over a few things that women say I don't even notice, I don't, don't even care about, which she does notice and care about, gentlemen. So these things I want you to pay attention to, I want you to adjust, I want you to modify. If you can, if you can't, don't worry about it because I'm gonna go over a few ways in order to fix them or maximize your God-given sexiness. Number one is your hands. A lot of dudes don't even think about this, but this is one of the deal breakers for a lot of women. If they're like, yo, he's kind of cute, super sexy, he must watch out the M videos and drop these, now would be the time, on the video, right? She's looking at your hands because she wants to know if she's gonna allow you to place them on her ever voluptuous body and sexy frame. Make sure that your nails are trimmed, your cuticles are straight. Make sure that your hands are soft and sexy. Now, it doesn't mean they don't have calluses because real men have calluses. Number two is your hair, all right? Now, a lot of women are like, I don't even notice that he's receding or losing his hair or whatever, right? That's total bullshit. You notice, I notice, we all notice. All right, you gotta make sure that your hair isn't oily or greasy or you don't have dandruff. You also need to make sure that if you are losing it, you either A, go see my boys over at Bosley and do something about it if you wanna stop it or fix it, or B, own it and embrace it. Don't try and hide it, which means cut it short. If you wanna add a little more interest or detail to your face, grow a light beard or rock some badass cool frames in order to elevate the aesthetic of your face. Number three, <coughs> I mean number three, right? Your voice, right? Your voice is one of those things that, unfortunately, we really can't do much in order to change. All right, I have always sounded like a 13-year-old little girl. It's just a fact that's something I've always dealt with. But if you are somebody that has a little bit more deep bass, bravado, and sexy gravel, right? This is incredibly attractive. A deep, sexy voice, gentlemen, game over, you win. If you're a little bit more high-pitched, not super sexy. But if you got a nice body, then she can kind of forgive the fact that you sound like a little girl, right? In my case, that's what happened, all right? The deal is, gentlemen, the next thing we gotta talk about is that physique of yours, all right? Now, here's the deal. If you're rocking a sweet set of man boobs, definitely she's gonna notice that. She's also gonna notice your love handles, but the good news is that dad bods are the rage, but if you're a little bit more defined, a little bit more toned, this is definitely gonna be a little bit sexier, and she's not gonna kick you out of bed for eating crackers. She's also looking at your booty, gentlemen. You think that dudes are the only ones that are like, damn, Brenda, look at that, you're killing it, right? Women are also like, damn, Brian, it's flat. Or, woo, Brad, look at that lusciousness, right? She's noticing. Women like dudes with luscious booties, just like dudes like women with nice, tight, firm, or big old, whatever your personal preference, it doesn't matter to me, brother. It's up to you, right? But she is definitely noticing whether or not you've got a nice ass or not. Now, little pro tip, squats and lunges, all right? Those two exercises get after it because it's gonna help you build a better booty. Also, make sure that you're wearing pants that fit. Not saggy, not droopy, nice and tight to make your ass look amazing. Woo! Speaking of amazing, gentlemen, have you checked out Legend, the new EDP fragrance by Pete and Bejo, inspired by Tom Ford's effing fabulous, which actually brings me to the next thing that she always notices about you, and that is the way that you smell or don't smell, all right? Now, here's the deal. A few areas you gotta pay attention to. Number one is your armpit. Number two is your balls, and number three, gentlemen, is your body, right? Your fragrance. What is your fragrance game like? All right, now the truth is, guys, you gotta make sure that you smell incredible, all right? Your scent is one of the most important, powerful, nonverbal communicating tools that you have. And the beautiful thing about the way that you smell, gentlemen, unlike your height, unlike your big owl size, you have 100% control over it, which is why I've got an incredibly sweet deal to make you smell incredible. So if you love smelling amazing, you are gonna absolutely freak out over this deal that I got for you. All right, so here's the deal. For a limited time and while supplies last, we are gonna do what we call the fragrance button. You get to choose any fragrance that you want, whether or not it's the new legend inspired by Tom Ford's effing fabulous or the legendary Rebel. Inspired by the king of compliment fragrances, Creed Aventus. But we also have Hero, we've got Villain, which is dark, mysterious, and sexy, inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, or we even have King, inspired by Creed's Green Irish Tweed. But because I want you to smell better than all the other dudes out there, I'm throwing in some special gifts for you for essentially free. You're gonna get the deodorant, which is actually my all-time Favorite, natural deodorant, it's aluminum free, it's paraffin free, it's sulfite free. This thing is the best. Read the reviews, not just my opinion. But I also want your balls and Big Al to smell amazing. And so I'm also tossing in 
Fresh, the amazing talc-free powder by Pete and Pedro. So the regular retail price for this, are you ready? Is $83. But if you use the code men should 33, you're gonna get it for $50. It's basically $33 off. It's an incredible deal. You guys are gonna smell amazing. And like I said, it's for a limited time and while supplies last. For height, I'm sorry for breaking your heart, short dudes, right? I'm a short dude as well. Now, I've never been insecure about my height. I've always gotten girlfriends and I've never treated my height like a handicap, but I know that a lot of short dudes do. The one thing I'd like to tell you is you can't change your height, but you can change your aesthetic in terms of dressing in a manner that it's going to elongate your body, right? Monochromatic looks, the darker colors is gonna make you look taller. Also, wearing boots, it's gonna add about an inch to two inches to your height. And then, right there, right? Little height in your hair also is visually gonna make you a little bit taller. Let me ask you a question. Do you notice what other dudes are driving? Of course you do, and so does she. Now, is she as obsessed with cars as you are? Probably not, but it doesn't mean that she doesn't notice. Now, if you're not driving a nice car, don't worry about it. As long as it's clean, that is the most important thing and aspect about what you're driving, right? If it smells like a turd, that's a turn off. And do not go into debt or go and buy something above your means just to try to impress somebody. Guys, you gotta understand that it's not worth that. If she's not gonna like you for what you're driving, she is not the person for you. you are way too freaking amazing. And remember, the one thing that's incredibly attractive is financial stability. It's about being responsible financially, which actually is another thing that she does notice, right? Having a financial plan. Guys, this is something that you got to understand is incredibly attractive, but it's also practical, right? Don't live above your means. The two areas that you can cut down on your expenses are what you drive and where you live. It's okay to delay the gratification. Put off now so that in the future, you're in a more strong financial position position. The next thing I want to talk about a little bit is social media, as in your profile, stupid. She notices. She notices all the dumb pictures. She's cyber stalking the shit out of you. And so you got to be more diligent and disciplined when it comes to posting random shit. And if you're posting pictures of you partying all the time or doing drugs or whatever, just understand that people are going to form opinions on you based solely on what you're posting, all right? The next thing she's noticing is your friends. Who do you hang out with and surround yourself with? Now, I'm not saying that you need to break up with people or friends just because you're dating somebody who doesn't like them, but if you're hanging out with losers, she's noticing. The other thing she's definitely noticing is how you treat other people, the way that you speak about them, but also how you speak to them and interact with them. If you come across as somebody who's uplifting, encouraging, kind, and friendly, good news, you're awesome. If you come across as negative or you talk shit behind people's back or you're mean to your mother, you suck as a human. The next thing that she notices is your smile, right? Your grill. Is it clean? Is it yellow? Is it discolored? Do you have all sorts of crazy snaggle teeth? If the answer is yes, no problem. You don't need to have a perfect smile to have a great smile. You just got to make sure you're using it. And if you're not confident about your smile, do something about it. The easiest thing is to whiten the teeth. It doesn't matter how janky or crooked they are. White teeth look better than yellow, nasty, discolored teeth. If you're somebody that isn't smiling because you're insecure about the quality of the teeth in your mouth, go handle it. If it means you got to get a second job or save money or maybe not go out to eat every single night, do it. It's worth having an incredible smile, which brings me to the last thing. Actually, it doesn't bring me. I'm just going to tell you the last thing, and that is you checking out other women. Here's the deal. I've gotten in trouble for this before because as dudes, our eyes are drawn to spiciness, right? It's just an, it's a fact. It happens, and we can't help it. But how you handle it and how you look, that is the thing that you can control, all right? So here's the deal. A spicy ass senorita walks in the room, and you're with your girl. She noticed that she walked in because she's paying attention. They've got, like, women's intuition and spicy senorita sensors, right? She walks in, and she's looking. She looked at her, but now she's looking at you. Now, it's okay if you glance and come back. You got about one second to look. But if it's a glance, and it's one, two, three, or you track a little bit, Game over, you're not getting any sex for a week. Also, your social media account, right? You think that when she looks at your phone, because she's probably snooping, and she goes to your Instagram or your whatever, right? And it's filtering all of these like sexy chicks or whatever. You think that's an accident? She knows it's not an accident. She knows you've been looking. So gentlemen, just be cool when it comes to spicy senorita. Remember, she's awesome. She's amazing. She's your queen. But she's definitely noticing, even if she says, I don't even notice that. And I didn't notice that you looked fat in those jeans.